Hey guys, Mike here. So today, I'm here to talk to you about The Post. In this review, I'll be going over a brief summary of the plot, my thoughts about the film, and whether or not you should go and see it. So I'm going to try and keep this review spoiler-free. However, if you don't know anything about the film, and you want to go in completely blind, then I would suggest coming back to this video once you've seen the film. So with that, let's get started, shall we? What are you going to do, Mrs. Graham? So the post stars, two of Hollywood's greatest living actors, who until this point had not been in a film together. Two-time Oscar winner Tom Hanks and three-time Oscar winner Meryl Streep as Ben Bradley and Kay Graham. In the post, a big cover-up about the Vietnam War has been leaked and the Washington Post managed to get a hold of the documents containing all the information they would need to blow this story wide open. However, if they do print the story, it could mean the end of the paper and their lives as they know it. So first of all, Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep show why they are two of the greatest living actors, as they both show off some amazing acting chops in this film, as they are able to hold your attention during the big dramatic scenes and the smaller one-on-one -on -one conversation scenes as well. They make you sympathise with their characters, and they make you think, what would you do if you were in their situation? So after the first five-minute introduction, the film's pace starts to slow down and linger on the uninteresting. I found that at first, the film didn't really express the severity of what exactly was on these documents. However, once they said what exactly was on the documents, and conveyed the severity of what was on them using percentages, that's when the film gets really interesting, and from there, the film only gets better and better. And you really understand the motivations that Tom Hanks' character and Meryl Streep's character have for wanting to, and not wanting to, publish this story. This film doesn't rely on lots of flashy imagery, or clever camera tricks to tell the story. Instead, the film tells you how it is, and it does a good job of doing that as well. Overall, once the pace picked up, this was a very enjoyable, well-told, and brilliantly acted film. For sheer quality alone, I would recommend going to see this film in the cinema. However, if you're looking for a cinema experience, then I wouldn't recommend going to see this film in the cinema. Because I don't think the quality of this film is enhanced by being on a big screen, nor do I think that it would be decreased if it was on a smaller screen. However, I definitely would recommend getting this film on DVD. Okay hey guys, that's my quick review of The Post. If you've seen it, what did you think about it? What's your favourite government conspiracy movie? Whatever it is, drop it in the comments, and until next time, I've been Michael. See ya!